small steps, small steps. The sun's creeping up and we need to pray Fajr Asa. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawmikin Iyaka Na'bud Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Come on, come on Sami Last push to the summit, last push We're nearly there, hey Dukki ya Jibal Nahnu fil qimam Ayqid al-Rijal, Ayqid al-Himam Hey, a'atina himma Hey, a'atina al-Shuhta Need to rent out boots. Would have been a mission grabbing them from right in any so I told the lads so you yeah. can grab them here. I had the option between these or these, but I had to go for what goes with the outfit. So this is the drip check already. You want someone to fall? No, it's gonna be light work. No, but you're negotiating hard. Yeah. It's like we, you're negotiating like we don't have your office. You let the people you stand for us. Why you? Oh, the Kamisa me. I'm not Irish. Yeah. I know he forgets that he's Irlandi. You look a beard, anyways. So all of this, guess how much it cost? It cost a tenner, and Ennis is snapping. He wanted to negotiate. Yeah, yeah, different level. Yeah, different breed, bro. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, last time we climbed this mountain, we done it from the base of the mountain pretty much from the foot of it. And it took a long, long time. Well, I told the boys to dodge, let's get the car right to the point where no cars are allowed to go up. We saved around four or five hours of hiking. It's sunny, but it is cold. If I wear like a hoodie, and once I build up a sweat, that moisture is going to build up on my body. If it cools down, it's going to make me even colder. So you wear a t-shirt, you minimize the sweat, and then when you get higher in altitude, you put on a jumper and you try to avoid sweating as much as possible. Two more hours left. Light work, man. Lads are tired. Come on, boys! Hiya! دوكي يا جبال نحن في القمم أيقظ الرجال أيقظ الهمم دوكي يا جبال دوكي يا جبال دوكي يا جبال دوكي يا جبال. We're taking a shortcut. You get to the top of the group. I was just telling Ahmed there. I don't want to stop for a break. I just want to keep going. Usually after a bit of resistance and some mental torture, not too much. You go through a wall. Once you pass that wall, it's almost as if you're high. You're hallucinating. You're on autopilot. We call it the runner's high. Once you get through that barrier. But if you're not aware of that wall, you start to become overwhelmed. You're almost like this is so exhausting. I need to stop. I cannot continue. But then if you keep going, keep telling yourself you're exhausted. You get more overwhelmed, and it's a vicious, vicious cycle. So you either get mentally exhausted or you end up quitting or you acknowledge that the wall's there and you seek that wall to the point where when you hit that wall and you go past it you're like yeah this is it and then you don't feel pain no more it's almost as if your body injects adrenaline and dopamine into you yeah this is what i love 
hiking. It used to happen to me running as well, but I love hiking way more. For me, mentally, it's more engaging. Salam alaikum. Salam. Halak, shirak, barak, kweis. Kweif halak. Alhamdulillah. Kweif khair. Alhamdulillah. Kweif mzian. Wallahi miya miya. It's so cold that the rivers and the waterfall is completely iced out. Should get a little tiny session in. Back on the road. Look at a dog walking with us. By the way, we've been walking like maybe an hour since we saw the dog and it's still walking with us. Assalamu alaikum. Sahar Raha. made it all the way to base camp we made it Allahu Akbar la ilaha illallah right so this is base camp the lads are cooking shul lakhbar shul umur let's take us to our room okay one two three Okay. Allah Hamwal Dik. I mean You're gonna be sleeping next to me, bro. Should good luck. Yeah. Yeah. This is the toilet situation. Traditional holes in the ground. So after walking all day, good luck, squad. I cannot describe to you how cold it is. I just made wudu and his head steam. فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثر فهم لا يؤمنون خلاص prayed checked in chilling in front of the fire waiting for the food Alhamdulillah, grateful man. Tomorrow is going to be painful though. The sajid is right there. Hello. 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 Sunburned. Contemplating tomorrow's summit. Sam is thinking, should I go? Should I not go? But here's the thing: if he half does it, then we're all coming down. Tomorrow's summit is an all or nothing job. If we go, and one of us decides that he cannot commit to the top, we all have to go back down. So Sam is contemplating. Ellis is already a man down. He's gonna stay here. And Sammy's wondering, thinking, contemplating, is that a crossroad? Should I go? Should I not go? I'm gonna try it, and then if I can't, but then we're like, listen, you can't do that because if you try it and you can, then we can, none of us can sum. I gave 100%. We're gonna sum. Everyone has professional gear, um, just layering on the layers. It's like third layer, I'm gonna throw a hoodie on top of it. Just because this is a bit of a spontaneous one. I'm layering on the layers, I'm even wearing double hat. This is the hoodie, yeah? I opened it. That's how cold it is. If anyone knows me, you know I'm anti Miss Cafe. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Alright, we're good to go. 
put on the crampons. She'll be in the summit in no time. Hello there. This is the first group already got started on the way to the summit. Look here, Jibal. Nahna fan qimam. Aiqi bil rijal. Aiqi bil himam. Look here, Jibal. Look here, Jibal. I can't really see the mountains as much, but it's beautiful, man. You see all the stars, you see everything. Lads, crampons fell off. So they're getting that fixed. Look at the absolute caravan behind us all the way to base camp. When we're starting off at base camp, you're looking at all the people in their position, you're thinking, no way, this is actually long. And then in the space of how long? I'd say that was about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? We're here. And you don't even know what's going on. You're just looking at yourself. And you're looking at your feet and you're looking at every single step and then you look up and you're like whoa i've caught all this journey i'm all the way up here every time you reach a peak there's another peak after <laughs> hey it's beautiful man how you feeling boys feeling strong yeah oh, come on. <laughs> ونور الوجهين يبدو حزينا صحيت one step at a time بسم الله this is the Yahya technique make sure of your phone make sure you're breathing والله I was gone about 30% down there and now you're fresh it's all about the technique السلام عليكم شو الأخبار كويسين الله يرضى عليك الله يرحم والديك الله يرضى عليك يا قدر نورتي هذا الخروار بنور القران بارك الله فيك هيا هيا اه ذس از سم بوسن يا لاد ميك شور ميك شور اس ات صحيت سمول ستيبس سمول ستيبس نو روش يو ذا ليد ذا جروب يو كنترول ذا بيس Exactly. Lie back. Well done. Go this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, don't come to me. I'm just getting the angles. Easy, easy. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Come on! Yaqdar, ma lashino? Oh, خلاص قريب ما كمل. Oh, give me two minutes, man. Oh, you want to take a rest? Oh. Sit down, sit down. Hey, Abshiru Shabab, we're only halfway. We're halfway, boys. The hard part's done. That was the steep part. That was the part that was heavy on the calves and the glutes. Yeah, we're going to push to the summit. It's going to be a longer walk, but it's going to be windy and it's going to be less steep. This is easy. This is easy! Come on. The sun's creeping up and we need to pray Fajr Asa. It's a bit of a desperate situation. The plan is to summit before sunrise and pray Fajr at the summit, but it's not like that's going to happen. We might have to compromise and just pray along the way. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. Obviously, a tour guide's not too happy with the idea, but 
بحثت بدون ان الصلاه كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا بلوك لو اس بيو فما نقرا احمد صلي ان تيب ذا ماونتنز اوبفيسلي سن رايز از غانا بي ا بيت ايرليير فور اس بيكوز وي ار هاي اب ذان ايفريبودي اس ان ذا سي وي ار اراوند سي 4300 ميترز نو اي ثينك اكشلي 4000 اي ثينك ذا بيك از 4100 Literally, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna pray. They're gonna go ahead. I couldn't care less. Me and Ahmed are praying. We're gonna catch up to them. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أمين إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر هذا خلق الله فأروني ماذا خلق الذين من دونه سبحان الخالق يا راجل سبحان الجبار سبحان الله كيف تقدر تسرق بربي يا راجل كيف تقدر تكفر هذا كله جاء من عدم انت استحاله يا راجل بسم الله hey, this is light work we stopped we prayed and now we're catching up come on man this is the barakah of the salah brother Let's go. So you're gonna go back. Say, say it with chest. You're gonna climb. Good. Khalas, we're here, bro. So I'm sitting up top. It's crazy, man. Why you back? Hey. It takes madmen to climb mountains. Every time you hear that statement. You know how true it is when you actually climb the mountain and you think, there's a bit of madness in me for doing this. Come on, come on, Sammy. Last push to the summit, last push. Last push to the summit, boys. We're nearly there, hey. Dukiya Jibal. Nahnu fil qimam. Aykadi al rijal. Aykadi al himam. هيا اعطينا همه هيا اعطينا الشحنه لاست بوش ونيلي ذا وي دون ات خلاص خلاص يا سامي يا الله هيا كم اون كم اون سامي ماي سو اكزيتينج ماي بودي وين يو ديد ذا هيا صحيك small steps I'm not gonna lie to you I'm telling these boys it's a last push to the summit but the summit if they see it now they're gonna be spooked no. still grinding through it it's not easy
almost made it. Now we're on our way down. iPhone decided to turn on again since we left the summit by like half an hour. It's just too cold up there. So the iPhone, the second the cold hits the actual phone, I don't know, something with the battery or whatever, it just shuts down completely. No, no, this was the spot I was about to give up. All right, I'll see you at base camp. Got to base camp. Now we're headed back. You find that sometimes you have your phone on you. You don't even want to be on your phone. But it's just that it just happens. It's like almost an instinct. Where is it? You know? And then before you know it, you're scrolling. The best thing about hiking for me is you're left with your own thoughts. You're just cruising away and you have your phone away. Obviously, I don't because I'm filming. But most of the time, I do have it away. You don't have any cellular connection. You don't have 3G. You don't have social media. And you're just left to think. You're in your own thought for once. Most of us today don't even get to form our own thoughts anymore. It's just regurgitated speech, almost as if you're a parrot. Your ideas are not your own. I'm not speaking about, let's say, for example, seeking knowledge or saying something that a scholar said. They say that in the bil kirami falahu. So I'm not speaking from that angle, more so just scrolling on social media and just random people who you know nothing about vomiting their opinions at you. And most of the time it's not checked, there's no sources to it and you don't even know who this person is. And then before you know it, because you've stayed on long enough for this piece of junk that you listen to, you start to get more and more of it. And the algorithm starts to recommend it. So it becomes you. They become your thoughts. Alhamdulillah, we made it. Got to Marrakesh yesterday and uh, the boys went for McDonald's straight away. Thing is, me with fast food, we just don't go hand in hand. When fast food is hard, <laughs> I don't drink enough water. This is what happens to my face. I should be get paving over my eyes. It's all the water retention from the sodium. That's in all that processed food. So I'm fell in front of us literally, literally. Probably nearly lost his life. His motorbike flipped around and Harap bin Ajah. But subhanAllah, it just goes to show life is so delicate, man. You can't take any of this for granted. Every single moment, every single second. Walking in the market and I get stopped. I took my shoes off. And now the detailing. Brand new. What are they? Bang it. Ask for a cocktail in terms to get avocado on top. Avocado! <laughs> وما تقولش لي يا صاحبي ما عندي صاحبي ما رانيش معاك ما رانيش معاك وما تقولش لي يا صاحبي احمد why you walking like that Back in the same spot as day one. I'm gonna spend the night here and then tomorrow fly back home. Kitchen, desk, living room, bedroom number one, bedroom number two, ensuite. I think there's another toilet in here, is there? Yes, it's not too bad. This car definitely needs a wash. We usually get the boarding pass right from the app. 
and you can just go straight to the gate. But you see, in Arab, we have to complicate things. So we're here in line just to get our boarding passes stamped, and then we're allowed to go to the gate. And also, we're cutting it short. The flight should have been at six o'clock. They changed it last minute to three o'clock. Had NS not copped it, probably would have missed this flight. Just got through security. I think there was about six or seven people that checked my actual passport. I checked stamps on my boarding pass and on the passport itself. Probably one of the longest processes. Like I've been everywhere. No, I haven't been everywhere, but like I've been to a lot of places. And this was too intricate. There was too many people involved. So man, we're, both, we're trying to suss out a message around here. I don't think there's a prayer room, but the reason we'll just pray out in the open, but it should be. I'm gonna find someone and ask. Espresso is being had, waiting on the flight. Morocco has been a good one, alhamdulillah. Some trick, I made the house safe, learned a few more things about ourselves, as you always do with such a tedious, difficult, rigorous climb or hike. You really get to know your body's limits and barriers and boundaries. And you gain some respect for your mind as well, that you're able to push much more longer than you thought for example Ennis was saying in the first 15 minutes he was done Ahmed was like you still have a bit in you he goes no I gave 100% he just says if you gave 100% you'd be collapsed and Ennis actually managed to make it to base camp and so was Sammy Sammy managed to make it to base camp and he was like I'm done I gave it 100% and then he summited and everyone exceeded their own expectations in terms of their mind and how much they were capable of. That's something that most people don't actually get to experience in their life at all. Because why would you push yourself to that level? Why would you push yourself to that limit? Only madmen would do such a thing, but I would suggest for you to be madmen or mad women. Hike, run, whatever it is, push yourself to the limit and see how much you could take. And in that, you gain a bit of self-respect as well. You respect yourself a bit more. You know that, you're not like the average individual. If you are put to it, if you are put to the test, if you are put to the trial, you can withstand it and you can push through regardless of what your body's telling you. Hope you took a good one from this. Make sure to subscribe. If you're new, make sure to like the video. That actually helps a lot. And I've been forgetting to mention to the subscribers to actually like the videos because they do push it. They do push the videos. First year when I started on YouTube, I was just getting people to like, 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 and the second they like, just getting pushed way more. And then this year it wasn't really kicking off. And I was like, what am I doing different? I'm doing the same type of content, but it's just I'm not begging for the likes no more. Do you get me? Um, but yeah, in a non biggish way, like the video if you enjoyed it. Because most people enjoy it, but they just forget to like it. Like it if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, you can dislike it. That's up to you. I uh, hope you had a good one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaha. Hafsa out here waiting in the sun. Why would you get us to board the flight when the flights are even ready? We're literally on the tarmac chilling. Getting absolutely battered by the sun. Obviously, the Irlandian kilom ajibo mijo. They get a little tan. Look, in the the Arab, خلاص ملينا الشمس حافظينا يا رجل. صح لا يا له. The Anas is a bit hot though. Almani. My guy got sunstroke.